Hey hi, it's Eric, but you know that. And today I'm going to blow up one LED to three LEDs for the sake of science. These ones are rated at 30 milliamps each. And hook, <coughs> I hooked them up to 8 volts. This is 8 volts. And this is the amperes going through the LED. Right now it's registering zero because it's uh, very uh, dimly lit. And with this pot meter I will ramp it up a little bit. And a little bit more. And a little bit more even. Not in the danger zone. Ah, there is the first. 10 milliamps. Ooh, way too much. Over 30. Did you see the change in color? It went from green to yellow. And it's now mm, not even hot. Now it's starting to smell. There's still a little bit, little bit of yellow light in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, a little bit of smoke. Yes, now it's molding. Oh, it's going. Oh, nice. Ooh. I think it's shorted out now because the voltmeter is registering zero. So I'm going to take it off. Let me burn my fingers. Ooh, what happened to my voltmeter here? Ah, the back lead came off. See how dangerous it is? Let's see now. This one's pretty much gone. I don't think it, it there is any point in hooking it up again. No, nothing. Okay. Reset. I'm curious just how far I can push this. Just to the brink of dying. Okay, the yellow one. Also rated at 30 milliamps. Here we go. Slowly, like slowly. We don't want to blow it up before you know anything. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 10. Ooh, man. That's cool enough of it. Yeah, it's cool. Bang! Ooh, this one goes red. How do you know you're overpowering an LED? Well, it changes color first and then. Boing! Ooh. It didn't last long. It went over 30 milliamps for a very short while. Woo! Oof! Now that is magic smoke. <coughs> yeah, it's toast. A little bit of blackness here. But I still don't know how far I can push it. Well, it's still safe. I never thought, actually saw it at 30 here. Yeah. Okay, one more. Where is it? Oh, it's hiding. It's got scared. Ah, I know where you are. Okay. This is the last one for science. All the other LEDs I'm going to burn will be just plain accidents. Here we go. Let's see if I can push it to 20 milliamps and then hold. Should be safe at 20. But it's surprising me every time. Hold on. 10 milliamps. You know, I don't trust this measurement. It is at the 20 ampere setting. I'm going to reset for 200 milliamps. Now, this should be much, much more reliable, much more precision in this measurement 
Okay, one milliamp. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, twelve, thirteen. See how fast it increases all of a sudden. That's because I'm using a linear potentiometer. And there is another one in parallel. 2022, ooh, just the slightest touch, you know, changes from 20 to 22. Okay, Eric, it's rated at 30. Let's go. Oh, man. The meter is not rated. We want to move it. Turn it back. A little bit more, but not to be the, to the touch. Once more. beyond 26 without going bang. Okay, let's just change it. Without going my main thing. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, as far as science goes, I'm voting for the yellow ones. They go up in a red flash and a lot of smoke. Well, there smoke comes. It takes a while before it actually smokes. Mm, there we go to fly again, click flicker. It's now starting to behave like a candle. Ooh, you can even hear it. It's a bit of spotter. Can you see the smoke? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit more light. It's small, I mean. It's not really short, I mean, it's 160 milliamps. like on the inside. Well, this has been rigged, but you know that. Well, let's make robots.com.